Let's dive into the spoilers for chapter 266 of Jutsu Kaisen after the intro. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Before we get into the content of this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. All right, let's get to the video. Page one, the chapter begins with Yuji hearing Megumi's soul, hashtag JJK266. Uh, Megumi says that he wanted to create a world where Tsumiki wouldn't have to face the injustices of the current world. Megumi says, even if I couldn't create such a world, I wanted to preserve this fragile life, at least while I'm alive, and she's within my reach. Megumi continues to explain his dream world. Page two, Megumi continues to explain his dream world. Megumi says, eating meals out of habit, watching clothes dry in the sun, walking side by side with someone like you, and saying goodbye to Tsumiki. I wanted to think, ah, I'm so happy. Page three, Megumi tries to end the conversation by saying, but now it's okay. But Yuji explains how he eventually came to understand the choices of people who have to face harsh, inevitable realities. And that's why, Yuji says, my grandfather's illness started with lung cancer, but early on, he refused aggressive treatments with severe side effects. My body was always strong, so I never understood the decision to refuse treatment or the idea of euthanasia that I sometimes heard about. It seemed like someone else's problem. I thought I could endure it, but it must be painful for the person going through it. But after entering Jujutsu Tech and experiencing the worst imaginable things, I began to understand the choices people like my grandfather made, the choices of people who had to face harsh, inevitable realities. Yuji says, and that's why I can't tell Megumi to live now. In case anyone didn't get it, Yuji says he understands how depressed Megumi is right now, and that's why he can't force himself to tell Megumi to live. Pages four and five, back to reality. Sukuna opens the hollow wicker basket to counter Yuji's domain. Sukuna says he can't use Gojo's method of resetting the exhausted curse technique with the reversal curse technique because it's too risky to perform, as his brain is still affected by Gojo's domain. Page 6. The narrator explains that the basket and the simple domain have lower power compared to real domains. But by keeping the hand sign intact even after activating the basket, he compensated for the lack of power and continued fighting without being dominated by the opponent's domain. Pages 7 and 8. Yuji and Sukuna exchange blows in an insane sequence. Pages 10 and 11. As they exchange blows, Sukuna says he was even shocked and surprised by how angry he became when belittled. Show your pity for me. I want to make all humans, except you, pay for what you did. Page 12. Suddenly, uh, we see young Megumi in the alley where Gojo first found him. And young Megumi asks the same question he asked Gojo, but now to Yuji. Young Megumi says, what's with that face? Yuji says, well, it will be sad without you, Fushiguro. Page 13. In the next moment, Sukuna's leg is sunken in shadows. It's Megumi fighting back. Sukuna says, Megumi Fushiguro's soul, which I had submerged with the bath, came back to life because of the disassemble of the brat. Sukuna also says that Mahoraga was destroyed and that the Ten Shadows technique has already lost its function. Pages 14 and 15. Yuji lands a strong punch to Sukuna's face, sending him flying. Yuji smiles upon realizing Megumi is fighting back. Page 16. More action. Sukuna and Yuji exchange many punches to each other's faces. Page 17. Sukuna loses the physical battle by activating the basket once again to protect himself from Yuji's punches. Sukuna says, my reversal technique is useless against the brat's punches. The HWB is going to break. Page 18. But instantly, blades start flying, and Yuji's curse tool, which he was holding, disintegrates into pieces. Yuji realizes that Sukuna used Gojo's technique to reset the exhausted curse technique. Page 19. Sukuna then prepares to open his domain, but Yuji is faster and opens his domain before Sukuna. Sukuna is simply shocked by this. The chapter ends with us seeing one of Sukuna's fingers tied in a mysterious place. End of chapter 266. Editor's final comment. Next week, the Shinjuku battle reaches its climax. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. See you next time, and thanks.